All right, thanks for that. There is growing backlash now to the governor's proposal to punish protesters who block traffic or throw things at police officers. A coalition of Black Lives Matter and other activists pushing back today, but as Eight on Your Side's Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vizalinda shows us, the governor laughed when told of that pushback. The governor's efforts to curb violent protests with longer jail time and denying bail is getting pushed back today from protesters who say his ideas violate their constitutional rights. Not one leader of any movement that has organized protest following the rash of murders and public lynchings of black and brown people have advocated for looting and violence. When we told the governor about the pushback, this was his first reaction. Yeah, right. Well, let me just say, do you think it's okay to throw a brick at a police officer? Do you think it's okay to burn down buildings? Then he drew this distinction. Protest all you want, knock your, knock your socks off, but when it goes into violence, you know, that's when there has to be accountability. The activists are also asking people not to come to Florida if these measures become law, saying it will make them unsafe. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, eight on your side. And proposals from the governor usually come up in a March legislative session, but the governor is asking leaders to bring the issue up in November.